Hello everybody, welcome to another Yusako Bronze question. Today we're taking a look at the Yusako 2018 February contest. Question number two, hoofball. This video is brought to you by Jimmy Ong. I am a course developer and instructor at Coding Minds Academy. Check out my links in the description below. So let's go ahead and pause the video and read through what the question is asking us to do. There'll also be a link in the description below. So this question is asking us, what is the minimum amount of balls that the farmer needs to give this line of cows? The way that the cows can play hoofball is this. Once a cow receives a ball, either from the farmer or from the cow, what that cow will do is then pass the ball to the closest cow to it. All right? The two pieces that help us solve this problem is to figure out how many cows will pass to a specific cow for every cow, basically. The next thing is to figure out how many pairs of cows will just oscillate the ball in between each other. So this will help us figure out how many balls we need total. So for example, in this paragraph right here, when Farmer John passes the ball to cow number one, cow number one immediately passes it to three and four. Or rather, passes it to three first, who then passes to four, then passes back to three, so it's oscillating there. The cow number one is considered a source because once she gets the ball, she'll give it away and not receive anything. So there, so that cow account at spot number one does not receive any balls. So that we require at least one ball to cover that case. The other case is pretty similar where if we start the ball at x equals 11, then the cow at 11 will pass the ball to four then to three, then back to four. So that's all another oscillating thing. So that's one of the edge cases, or one of the cases we need to worry about. To reiterate, the other case we need to worry about is when there is a pair of cows who will only pass to each other, to no other cows. So in that case, those pair of cows are kind of removed from the game, and we need to give them a ball. So that actually is not, is not happening in this case. So let's start coding. First, I'll create a helper function to help us figure out how many cows we're passing to a specific cow. So the goal for this function here is to figure out for each cow, how many cows will pass to it. So what I'll do here is figure out where the closest left and right neighbors are by first declaring a few variables and then after that, looping through and figuring out the distance. Once I have the left and right neighbor and the left and right distance, I'm going to return whichever distance is lowest. So find the closest neighbor. All right, with that helper function finished, let's finish the driver code. First of all, I have some... Um, input formatting here. I also created a array named key to hold the amount of balls that will be passed to any cow. So for example, the first slot represents how many cows will pass to the cow in the slot number one. So the first for loop will help us fill out that uh, key array. So we can figure out which cows are getting past the ball. Specifically, we're interested in which cows are not getting past the ball, actually. So we want to figure out which cows have a value of zero, meaning they are a source. Once they get the ball, they give it away, and they never get it again. So we need to start the ball on those cows, on the source cows. So that's just one part of the equation. For the next for loop, I have an if statement or a few actually. The first if statement, will if statement will cover the case covered in this for loop with these sources. So if a cow is not being passed any balls, has a value of zero, they are a source cow, which means that the ball needs to begin on that cow for the cow to um, ever play in the game. 
So that's just to cover this case up here. But we also need to cover that other edge case where there are a pair of cows kind of removed from the game, where once either of those cows gets a ball, will pass between those two cows. It will also be between those two cows. So if that's the case, we need to check a few conditions here. So here we're checking to see if the pair of cows will pass to each other. So if these conditions are true, we'll add another one to the answer. So first case is if the cow is a source. So we need to start there. Second case is if there are a pair of cows kind of removed from the game, and we need to have a ball there as well. All right, this has been another Yusako Bronze question brought to you by Jimmy Ong. I am a course developer and instructor at Coding Minds Academy. Check out my blog and resume in the description below. Thanks for watching.